Hello guys, how are you doing? Back on the road again, and today me and cameraman went into Old Peterborough and we're going to a place called XOXO. I'm thinking, XO, don't that mean like kiss, 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 bang, bang, something like that? I don't know, but apparently this place does the best grilled fru fruit. <laughs> <laughs> the best grilled food, steaks, you can imagine. Peterborough, are you telling me this is the best you've got? Because that's what people are saying. Let's get there and try it out, cameraman. So we're right in centre of old Peterborough. I think we're here. I think this is near shopping centre. I could just be inside the shopping centre. Well, this is posh. I'm posh end of Peterborough. Like going round in circles. It's saying it's just up here, so it might just be just inside this shopping centre. Pizza parlour. What's that? We should be here. There it is, XOXO Grill House. Oh, fuzz it out, look, and up, oh, oh, we're on. Right, so I'm reckoning we'll go back down there, park up up that street, if we can't get here, and have a walk back up. Because these are all full. So I'll be back with you guys once I've found somewhere to park. Right, come on, I think we're going to have to park here. We've we done a loop de loop. 30 minutes loop. What's all this? I say no returning. Oh my days. So you parking. So there's no. Can we fit in here? The door's just fine, this. Pull up here. Reverse in. Bosh. I have to have a, do a bit of manoeuvring to get the old table and chair out. And we'll get there in the end. What's that? This ain't no small car. No car parking spaces here that say small cars only. Goes, won't it? Right, finally, we're parked up in Peterborough. Uh, if you're more than half an hour, you, you're, in a, you're in a, having a bit of a problem. So let's go, let's see what's happening. Oh, right, guys, here we go. Oh, jump out, it's all knack and crack it away. Oh. Tell you something, come on, I've got a bit of a chill on here. So we've got a little bit of a. Oh, oh, oh I'm going to do a limbo here. I have to move on back a bit. I'm in line with this one, but. Front end might be hanging out. Right, let's go. I am ready for some food today. Ready for something nice. Just pop this here. Oh, oh here we go. Right guys, let's go. Did it do? Out in the streets of Peterborough. So, that's where you're going, man. They got run over then. It's just up here. XO, XO, grill house. Right, oh. So it is, it's just at the back of the, the centre. Yes, mate. You all right? How are you doing? Nice to meet you, nice to meet you mate. <laughs> I, was just, I was just in the office. I was like, there's no way. What yeah. are you doing around here? I've come to try this place here, this XOXO grill house. Any good? Yeah, because yeah, they do yeah, a bit 100%. of takeaway. So there's a bit of fun and games going on around here today. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's always going on around yeah. here. There's old glass <laughs> at the top of the street up there. Please yeah, all down right. this end. Tell me about it. Yeah. How long did it take you to get down here? Uh, from Lee's, just over two hours. Yeah. So drive, it's not right? too bad. Fair Not drive. too bad, but yeah, we're, uh, we're looking for some decent places to go. Any recommendations in Peterborough? I'll tell you what, you're, you're right close. Round the corner, you probably just walked past it. There's a little pizza shop. Right. Yeah, there's Excellent. two just here. Just yeah, on this, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one at side of there. each other. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable, but XOXO is yeah. really, really nice. good. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, we'll see well, how it is. Not at all, right? mate. Not at all. Top man. Bye. Nice one. Thank you very much. Take good care, pal. See you later, mate. Right, here we go. XO XO Grill House. Let's get in. See what's happening in XO XO. Looks busy. One person in. Let's have it. Oof. There we go, cameraman. Oh, hey up. Let's do ourselves. Hi, love. You alright? How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yourself? Yes, Well, I've been recommending to come down and try. Uh, you got to do a sharing platter? We do. Yeah. Um, Four people. So yep. you get four pieces of each meat. We've got buffalo wings, Shanghai wings, lamb chops, chicken strips, onion rings and sweet corn. 
all that sounds great, apart from the sweet corn. Can I swap that for something else? Yeah. Would that be all right? I'll have like some mash or coleslaw or something like that. Yeah. Just none of that devil's food, please. I no. can't stand it. Uh, yeah, I'll take one of them. And then can I also get uh, just a glass of water or something as well, please, love? How much is that, love? Whew. It's warmer in here, isn't it? That eating's all right. Oh, oh, oh. I like getting them Yeah. Yep, yeah, pay on card for that, please, love. Yeah. Lovely, thank you very much. Is that okay? Uh, yes, please, if you don't mind. That's lovely. Well, as nice and warm as it is in here, I'm going to go set the table up outside, love, if that's all right. All right, thank you very much. Right, cameraman, so we have got our mixed grill. Let's go for it. Sit outside and get ready. Whoa, here we go, guys. So that's it, the grill is in, it's all ordered. Looking forward to this, I'll be honest with you, so you've recommended for us to come down and try it out, all right, to do the sharing platter, but the do do, ribeyes, sirloins, T-bones, <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, why didn't we just call this, rate me food, <laughs> then I could, have had, I could have had sit down meal in restaurant, I mean, I don't know, how they would have felt it restaurant it's bad enough when i bring my table and chair outside i'll tell you something mate. look at this we we are we are on a thread with this eh? and i'm only keeping it going for so long because way back when that last said what's guarantee on these so you've got up to 28 days to return it and if it becomes faulty at any time you can return it as well and we'll uh, at any time out. it's on camera that so at if this time. breaks on me in two years times i'm fetching it back this will never break and if it does we'll give you a new one you know i'm going to be going back there in about four years when it's dead <laughs> do you know when it's dead and put it right oh chair test here we go Woo! so at least we've got a little bit of shelter front wind so we just saw what coming in i think there's like been a bit of a bit of a ruckus out there police have just put somebody in van Taxi. There was a bit of broken glass at the top, there was some old bloke doing his, you know, duty of sweeping it up. smells good I've got to be honest with you so don't forget guys we are in January so it's quiet you know end of January as well people we're just getting to that point where people are like I can't wait to get paid they get paid bang that's visa bill cleared off and <laughs> then it's back to scratching around for beans in back at cupboard till end of Feb but all right let's get my hands in my pockets because it's cold outside da -da 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 -da. So guys, I mean, to be honest, I'm probably the same as you. First impressions, when we got the messages through to come here, we're thinking to ourselves, it's a restaurant. You know, we don't really do restaurants. They've got to do takeaway. And we've checked it out and they do do takeaway. You can, you, you can phone the restaurant up direct, or you can get it ordered on delivery platforms that's available and get it delivered. What the steaks and that are going to turn up like delivered, I don't know. I mean, wouldn't it? I think we need to do that. We need to try it out when we, we get a steak delivered from a restaurant and uh, we'll, we'll just pull up outside somebody's house in van and we'll order it and then just jump out of the van and go, that's for me. So, oh God, can you smell that caraman? Or is it just that you're shivering too much? I, don't, I can't work my mind out. Danger, men working overhead. Nobody here, unless it's Spider-Man. <laughs> Coming for XOXO steak. Oh. So I apologise if there's a bit of a wobble, because cameraman, I've got to be honest, I'm sat here shaking. Oh, yeah. hey, oh, thank you very much. Hey, up oh, bit of fruit in it, love, thank you. Look at that, that bit of fruit. Oh, for that with a bug. Right, let's go. Oh, a bit of water. Oh. Bit of tap water with a bit of fruit in. There you go. Nice little fruity number. Oh, thank you very much. Look at this. I'm going to put that napkin in my pocket, because I've had experience with them before. That, oh. 
but it's hot one. Need that to keep me hands warm. Look like I'm robbing place. <laughs> so, what was it? 22 quid. What a bargain. Rob it. Bargain so far, I've got fruit water. <laughs> That's what you're all saying. What do you mean with a bargain? You haven't even got food yet. I know. I'm doing that smeller thing. I can smell it grilling, either that or there's a food court inside there and that's what's piping out, I don't know. I'm not from round here, King's Gate House. So, it looks like we're at back end at shopping centre, there's a bit of work going on, a bit of roofing. Oh, look at this, so we're in Peterborough, right, we've, we've done a two hour drive and the scaffolding up, white roll scaffolding leads. Oh, hey, oh, here we go. Whoa, there's, oh, a bit of mash, lovely. And starter platter. Thank you very much, love. No problem. Can I get you any other sauces? No. Can you, do you know what's on these again? So is that like yeah. a buffalo? So that's buffalo wings. That's Shanghai yeah. wings, like a Chinese sauce. Oh, I can smell that. Oh, that smells all right, doesn't it? Thank you very much, love. Looks amazing. Thank Enjoy. you. Thank you. Oh, it does. It smells nice, that you know. Shanghai wings. So it's it's not a, a, a munch box per se. You know, if this if this were in a pizza box, it'd be a nine inch. It'd fill it out big, wouldn't it? It'd look good, but. Do you know what? You're supposed to have corn. They've got rid of the corn. <laughs> Devil's food's gone. They've put me a little bowl of mash in, which is great. All right. We've got onion rings. Beautiful looking lamb chops. They look seasoned well, to be fair. They do look tasty. We've got some chicken gujons, and then we've got buffalo wings and some Shanghai wings. A couple of different bits of uh, mayo, peri peri sauces out there. A bit of a hot sauce. Peri mayo. Let's go. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try this mash. I like a bit of mash. A bit of parsley on top. Let's try it. Gotta be careful, I'm outside, I might burn my mouth. I feel like I'm feeding baby here. Oh, ah. Now, anybody that knows me knows that I'm a mash man. And that is absolutely bang on. Oh my god. Buttery, but salty smooth that's it review done right i'm going to wet my whistle with a bit of water with this draw and i'm going to start off onion rings so we've got some deep fried onion rings let's have a look at them they're not homemade the the, the shop bought processed onion ring but oh yes they have got that real oniony taste let's try this sauce out oh ah oh. That's definitely your buffalo. <laughs> so nice and crispy. Nice tasting. Ooh, yeah. Let's wet the whistle. Whoosh. I'll tell you something, guys. It's got me that sauce. Oh, it's got me good. I dipped it. I had, I, had, I had a good dip into that then, and it's got me. Made my nose run with cold weather. So we've got some chicken gilgeons. Look like that they've got a nice crispy coating of panko on there, deep fried. Let's have a go at these. Oh yeah. You know what, they're quite nice. They are absolutely gorgeous. They have got a really nice bit of seasoning. It's a nice chicken fillet with that crispy panko. They're really good. Let's try this. Is it a perinase? Certainly is. That's really good. Crispiness. Beautiful. Right. Shanghai chicken wings. So we've got four chicken wings with a Shanghai flavouring on. Bit of sesame seed for, for decorative. Let's have a go. Sticky, sweet, then a slight tang. It's a like a sweet soy flavour. The chicken's coming off the bone okay. With the flavouring of the sauce. It's really nice to be honest. They're not the biggest chicken wings. But they've got that beautiful like a sweet, a sweet soy flavour to them. Right, I'm gonna wet the whistle. Cleanse the palate for the buffalo wing. But the cameraman's like, oh, it's freezing. <laughs> right, let's get this one here, this little nugget here. 
This was this was like one of those little mini Thor hammers. Bush. <laughs> so again, chicken wing, the deep fried, covered in the buffalo sauce this time. Wow, nice sauce. Oh, it's a bit tangy for me, that stuff. The chicken comes straight off. Because it's deep fried. I'm going to be honest, that one is a little bit tougher than that one. Because that's sweeter. I think it's been, been fried a little bit longer. You can see it just there, look. It's a little bit tougher. So it's been fried probably a little bit a little bit longer than it should have been. The flavour's there. But so far out of the chicken, they've been tender, they've been good. Those ones, oof, a little bit there. Right, lamb chops, look at these bad boys. So they look seasoned really well. They look tasty, they're a decent size. You've got four of them on here. I can't wait to get my laughing gas around these bad boys. Now, oh yeah, that's tasty. It's got a nice seasoning to it. There's a very mild heat coming through. And then you've got a nice bit of charring. It's a thick lamb chop. I like that. Sometimes when you get lamb chops as well, they can be really, really thin. I don't like it when they're really thin. I like, I like them to be nice and meaty. Get a bit of a bite out of them. Right. Woo! Let me just... Starting to get a bit of a kick now, those lamb chops. But there's a bit more chilli seasoning coming in on the edge. But there's not enough there. I mean, I don't know if there's... There's probably just enough there to give it a little bit of flavour, but not ruin the flavour of the lamb. Right, guys, here we go. So... I started off this obviously I asked this to be swapped it should have been corn they swapped it for the mash the mash I'm going in again the mash is absolutely gorgeous creamy salty tastes great onion rings yeah the frozen onion rings can't deny that but they cook well they're decent enough the uh, chicken fillet covered in panko, got a slight spice into it. That's really nice, it's crispy, got a nice crunch to it. And uh, they're just about cooked enough anymore that have probably been a bit too dry, but cooked as they are, they're bang on. The Shanghai wings, that tastes absolutely amazing, I like that. You've got a sweet soy coming through there, deep fried wings, but that sticky sauce really gets coated around them. Gives you a really, really nice flavour as you're trying to get that chicken off. The sauces, both of them, you've got your, your hot sauce, peri peri mayonnaise, they are what they are. Great. The uh, the hot wings here, these ones, now these, like I say, the flavour's nice, it, it's there, but I think like these chicken wings might have just been fried a little bit too long, a little bit just too dry on the edge. The lamb chops, Nice thickness to the lamb chops, beautiful flavour to them, nice bit of charring, but also that spicing, that seasoning, gives me a nice little bit of a tingling on my lips, but not enough to, to ruin the flavour of the lamb. For me guys, to get this delivered at home, I think it's a nice little, nice little box of stuff, it'd be alright. Price wise, yeah, yeah, I'd probably say that's about bang on for the meat content, what you're getting for those nice four lamb chops, but for me, I think the... The, the, the chicken wings were just fried a little bit too much and the fact that it's, you know, frozen onion rings, that's just going to bring it down a little bit. I think I'm going to give this a nice solid 8.5. I'll see you next time, guys. I'm going to crack on with my chicken and my mash.